doing a little shooting today. Ruger SR40C. Had this one almost two years now. Love it, it's my concealed carry gun. And all you gotta do is just some real simple quick drills. Don't need a ton of ammo. And you get that much better at shooting. Real easy carry gun, not very big, 40 caliber. As the first mag holds nine, second one holds 12. You can shoot the full size Ruger SR40 mags out of this. They just stick out the bottom. Fun little gun, love carrying it, love shooting it. Let's see if I can't draw it kind of fast. That's the first time that ever happened to me. Never even struck the primer. Let's try it again. That was weird. Primer's not being struck. So, this thing jammed on me a couple times, and I started thinking, and I asked my dad, I said, why would this thing jam and just not work? Now, if you're gonna buy a Stern Ruger 40 Compact, there's a couple things you should know. A couple of the reasons why it jammed on me. So when, when I got this from the factory, the tolerance was so high that what would happen was it only stop right about there, or it would only go forward to right about there once it chambered around, and it would just stick. Like you'll see it in the one where I'm holding it, and it's about back here. Now, I used to work with a Ranger, and he bought the same model except in a 9mm. And he took it all apart, took a little tiny sander, filer, die grinder, and he went through all the edges and took out the factory edges. He didn't grind it down to nothing. He just made the tolerance looser, and that stopped that. Uh, I also talked to my concealed pistols instructor, or the guy I got my CPL from, and he bought the same gun in a 9.2. And he said that basically when that happens, when it comes from the factory, you just have to put rounds, 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 put rounds through it, clean it, put rounds through it, clean it, put rounds through it. I've maybe put, I'd say 800 rounds through this so far. And that's the first time that's happened to me. Now, as far as the firing pin not going forward, there's a thing called the hydraulic needle effect. So I don't know if you can see it or not. That spring right there is part of your firing pin. If you put so much oil in there, that's going to slow that firing pin down so much that it will not be able to strike that uh, primer as hard as it should, it won't even fire. Also another problem that I thought I might be having is all those reloads that I did, you see that I drop it, and I'm not dropping it in grass. This is like thick, nasty mud, what is it, it's January something in Michigan? It's just nasty, dirty, wet, terrible mud. I don't even know if you can see it, but that, all that mud's getting up in there. So yes, I love Rugers. My family's been a Ruger family for since the beginning. Um, just because this had some boo-boos. I don't hate Rugers. I still love them. I'm always going to have it. I'm going to take it and clean it. Do whatever I got to do to make it working again. Because any gun's just like a car. It 
all depends on how you take care of it, so just gotta keep shooting. And I keep it cleaned and updated and maintained. Updated? Yeah. I plug it in and update it. Gosh. Idiot. Oh, my knees hurt. Getting old. Where's that? I keep it updated. Where was that before that? Keep it oiled? No. Oh wow, look at that. Two of them. Found like two little 9 millimeter rounds. It's kind of cool. Clean in the dirt. Save those. So, let's get past the ADD.